Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International Television. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Abu Dhabi on a visit to the United Arab Emirates. He met Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and UAE Armed Forces Deputy Supreme Commander, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, at Al Bahr Palace. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan hailed the visit of His Majesty the King, expressing pride in the deep rooted fraternal relations binding the two brotherly countries and peoples. His Majesty the King and his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed exchanged cordial talks that reflected strong historical and fraternal relations, as well as shared keenness on further bolstering joint ties to serve mutual interests and meet future aspirations. The two sides discussed current developments unfolding in the region and the repercussions on regional security and stability. They exchanged views on affairs of mutual interest. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today awarded 10 government service centers that received gold classification under Daqim, which is a government service center evaluation system that tracks key performance indicators to improve public service delivery at Khudaybiyah Palace. The Deputy King emphasized that enhancing public services remains an important priority for the kingdom and plays a key role in its comprehensive development. His Royal Highness expressed his gratitude to government employees for their efforts on promoting excellence and innovation in their different work streams, ensuring the delivery of government services continues at the highest standards. The Deputy King also highlighted the Government Service Center's Evaluation Committee's efforts through the evaluation in accordance with the highest standards and best practices. The winning Government Service Centers were then awarded by His Royal Highness as follows. Maharraq Governorate Police Dir Directorate Electricity and Water Authorities Customer Service Center in Maharraqa, Electricity and Water Authorities Customer Service Center in Country Mall, Tamkin's Customer Service Center at the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Tamkin's Customer Service Center in Seif Mall, Information and E-Government Authorities ID Branch in Isa Town, Information and E-Government Authorities ID Branch in Seif Mall, Maharraqa, Municipal One Stop Shop, Bahrain Investors Center, Precious Metals and Gemstone Testing Directorate at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. A number of ministers and senior officials also attended the ceremony.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Rifa'a Palace the Governor of Bahrain Central Bank, Rashid Al Ma'raj, and a number of financial and banking leaders in the presence of a number of officials, where His Royal Highness launched the Easy Financial Network, which uses fingerprint scanning for payment. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the government provided a well established banking infrastructure that made the kingdom leading in financial technology in the region, noting that the government succeeded in making Bahrain a distinguished financial and banking center. He expressed pride in the financial and banking institutions that are keen on adopting banking technological innovations. His Royal Highness congratulated the banking sector on launching this advanced financial network, which will increase the sector's status in the kingdom and place it among countries with advanced financial technology. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asserted that the Kingdom has been keen on establishing a solid banking sector system for which it provided the elements of growth and advancement. He stressed the importance of continuing the development and modernization process in the banking sector, highlighting its competency and ability to keep pace with global development in this field. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to Easy for Financial Services, its managers and all the participating authorities for their efforts in preparing this lead network wishing them success. The governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the event, affirming that His Royal Highness is the main supporter of the banking sector. The chief executive officer of Ikmar Bank, Ahmed Abdul Rahim, hailed the support of His Royal Highness to Islamic banks, noting that launching the Easy Network represents a quantum leap in the financial and banking work course in the kingdom. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, patronized today the opening ceremony of the Children's Academy's new building in Rifa'a. In a statement on the occasion, Her Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's keenness in providing necessary plans, programs and services to people with disabilities, ensuring their rights and raising society's awareness on the importance of their integration into all areas of life. Her Royal Highness noted the efforts of the Academy, whose Board of Trustees Chairman is Sheikh Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, which receives support from its founder Sheikh Muna Khalid Hamad Al Dusri, and the educational and administrative body. She stressed the importance of developing education for people with disabilities to adopt strategies that help identify the most effective priorities for helping children to learn. Sheikh Muna Al Dusri delivered a speech in which she expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty. 
the King for supporting the Academy and Her Royal Highness Princess Tabika for patronizing the ceremony and supporting the Academy. She also stressed that the opening of the new building received the support of a number of state institutions, including the Ministry of Education and Temkin. She added that the Academy's cooperation with Alpha Plus Group has contributed in developing its curricula. The ceremony included a screening of a short film on the development stages of the Academy since its establishment and a performance by students. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, expressed a pleasure that Her Royal Highness's Global Award for Women's Empowerment has reached the winner's announcement stage following three years of organized and accurate work that was supervised by the United Nations Women supported by independent judges. الحضور الكريم يسعدني بداية أن أحييكم وأن أعرب لكم عن سعادتي البالغة بوصول أعمال الجائزة العالمية لتمكين المرأة في دورتها الأولى لمرحلة الإعلان عن الفائزين والفائزات بها بعد ثلاث سنوات من العمل الدقيق والمنظم أشرفت على خطوات هيئة الأمم المتحدة للمرأة وساندتها في ذلك لجنة تحكيم الجائزة التي ضمت نخبة من الشخصيات العالمية رفيعة المستوى وأجد في اجتماعكم هذا خير فرصة لإلقاء الضوء مرة أخرى على رسالة وأهداف الجائزة التي نجد فيها خلاصة فكرية ومعرفية لخبرتنا الوطنية في مجال تمكين المرأة ومتابعة تقدمها في مملكة البحرين الأمر الذي أسهم في وضع هذه المبادرة تحت تصرف المجتمع الدولي من خلال هيئة الأمم المتحدة للمرأة التي تحرص بدورها على إتاحة الفرصة لتبادل الخبرات ونقل المعارف وتوجيه الموارد لدعم الجهود والمساهمات الوطنية التي ترتقي بحياة المرأة وتمكنها من الإسهام بشكل مؤثر في تنمية ونهضة مجتمعها وبما يحقق الأهداف العالمية للتنمية المستدامة 2030 فكل التقدير والامتنان لرئيسة وأعضاء لجنة تحكيم الجائزة على ما أبدوه من حرص واهتمام بمتابعة تفاصيل هذا المشروع الطموح الذي يحتفي بالإنجازات النوعية والمؤثرة وأخص بالشكر السيدة فانزلي على حضورها الشخصي لفعالية الإعلان على نتائج الجائزة والتي تنوب عنا من البحرين للمشاركة فيها 
سمو الشيخ نيل بن حمد بن إبراهيم آل خليفة مع تطلعنا لدعوتكم جميعا وكافة الفائزين بالجائزة لزيارة مملكة البحرين لتقديم تهانينا الشخصية لهم والتعرف بشكل أقرب على تجاربهم ومبادراتهم المتميزة أبارك للفائزين ولكم منا جميعا كل تحية وتقدير Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, had delegated Sheikha Najla bint Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa to attend the ceremony at the United Nations headquarters and honor the winners of the Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Global Award for Women's Empowerment. Sheikha Najla affirmed that the interest of the award received from the international community asserts that the Bahraini experience in the women's support field has has reached advanced levels and became a model in enhancing the presence of women in various fields. The ceremony was attended by the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halal Ansari, a number of judges, senior officials at the UN, and the heads of delegations participating in the meetings of the UN Commission on the Status of Women. During the ceremony, a film on the stages of the award was screened. The UN Undersecretary General and UN Women Executive Director Fomzil Mlambun Kuka expressed pleasure in achieving the goals of the award, which enabled many world organizations and institutions to learn about the Bahraini experience in the field of supporting women. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received yesterday the trainers who successfully passed the National Course for Boxing Trainers, organized by BMMAF. His Highness expressed aspiration to achieve the goal of the Kingdom's qualification to the Tokyo Olympics 2020, which will contribute to raising the Kingdom's status in global sports. Through boxing. الرياضات القتالية الحين الحمد لله بتوجيهات سمو الشيخ ناصر على أن الاحترافية في الرياضة إن شاء الله نحن ماشين فيها وإذا أنت صرت محترف سواء في الأمامي أو في الملاكمة فهي سمعتها عالية يعني أنتوا شفتوا العالميين الملاكمين وشفتوا العالميين المقاتلين يعني سواء شكل عام لها مستقبل فالواحد ما يقول إنه والله الرياضة ما لها مستقبل الرياضة لها مستقبل واللاعب الرياضي يعترف فيه كمحترف إن شاء الله هدفنا عشرين عشرين اللي هي الأولمبيات شرف إن نشتغل وياكم وإن شاء الله كل واحد فيكم هني بتكون له بصمة على تطور المنتخب الأولمبي إن شاء الله الملاكمة والله يوفقنا إن شاء الله the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, received at her office the Minister of Representatives and Shura Council Affairs, Ghanem bin Fadl al Bu'ainain, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa al Khalifa, where the Representatives Council Speaker received the general budget for the fiscal year 2019 2020, which was referred to the specialized committee and to the representatives. Zainal affirmed the keenness of the Representatives Council to strengthen the principle of cooperation with the executive authority to contribute to the general national interest of Bahrain and meet the ambitions and aspirations of citizens. The Representatives Council held its weekly session today presided over by Speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal. The session began with the discussion of government letters regarding a draft law on the provisions of the Code of Criminal Procedure and referred it to the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee and a draft law on correctional justice for children and protecting them against ill treatment and referred it to the Permanent Committee for Women and Children. The meeting informed the Council 
counsel for the letter received from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding a draft law for the adoption of the state budget for the fiscal years 2019 and 2020 and a draft law on unemployment insurance. The council approved a proposal on replanning the Rafah Central Market and developing it according to modern systems. The council also approved a proposal on stopping the Mazaya program and approving the previous program. Cabinet Affairs Minister Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa opened yesterday an art show held by Bahrain Bayan School under his patronage. The exhibition showcased artworks created by Bahrain Bayan School International Baccalaureate students. The minister commended the role of schools and other educational establishments in honing students' skills and developing their artistic talents. He hailed the quality of the exhibited artworks, which he said reflects the outstanding talent of Bahrain Bayan School students. He commended the efforts exerted by Bahrain Bayan School and officials and personnel to hone and develop generations of students. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, met the fourth intake of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister OFDPM Fellowship as part of a series of meetings with the government officials to foster the fellows' leadership skills. During the meeting, the Minister highlighted that OFDPM Fellowship reflects the Kingdom's commitment to place Bahraini citizens at the heart of development efforts in accordance with the Economic Vision 2030 and added that the Fellowship contributes to meeting key goals within the kingdom's comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad. He outlined the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications areas of focus, the role and functions of the sectors it covers, as well as the ministry's efforts in enhancing human resource development. He said that these efforts are underpinned by the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to advance the skills of Bahrain's workforce and their contribution to sustainable growth. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular session, chaired by the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Supreme Council affirmed that the abidance by moderate discourse, behavior, and peaceful coexistence among the peoples ensures security and stability. The Council praised all the efforts exerted to boost social security, civil peace, and unity among Muslims. The Council hailed the reformative approach in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who attaches tremendous attention to the cohesion of the community fabric and its prevalent amity, moderation, coexistence, and peacefulness. The Council reviewed the main results and recommendations, concluded by the first edition of the annual scholarly seminar on moderate pulpit discourse, recently organized by the Sunni Endowments Directorate themed Moderate Religious Discourse, and held under the patronage of the Supreme Islamic Affairs Council, President Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, with the participation of scholars, professors, and researchers. The Council discussed a report expressing the Legal Opinion Panel's view regarding a Bill of Law to amend some provisions of Law 26 of 2017 regarding the use of medical technology for artificial insemination and fertility. The Council listened to the memorandum of the Council's Secretary General and Board of Directors Chairman and the recitations and Teachers Training Institute regarding the latest developments of the Institute's operation and its equipment. <laughs> 